we're standing out front. Crappiest weather in eons. You can look down the side of the house and see the canal down yonder and the davit. Single car garage. We're going to fix that one of these days. That's uh, like D on the list. And in we go. To a little courtyard entryway. With plenty of overgrown crap. This is actually going to go away. We're going to enclose this and make a third bedroom here. It'll be about 10 by 26 and that'll give us room to have a bathroom in there and everything. So coming in the front door, you got this front room and the sliding glass doors which originally separated the living space from the uh, open porch. The open porch got roofed over and now the uh, there's kind of a second living room out there. And as we look at that, you can look to your right, and there's our what we call our groovy kitchen, straight out of the 60s. Check out that ceiling. And check out the color of those cabinets. Is that just awesome or what? We haven't put anything away because the cabinets need to be cleaned on the inside first. Joy, joy, that's the garage door there. So the view from the kitchen is of those two rooms. Now the sliders that are on your right hand right now, they go outside to another screen porch that got hung on at some point. But first we'll walk down here to the bedroom end of the house. Apologize for the darkness. Haven't got a lot of lamps yet. This is actually the second bedroom, the spare bedroom. Right now it's just full of office type stuff that's eventually got to get sorted out. And here we have a, uh, a groovy bathroom. And here is the master suite, which includes with it yet another groovy bathroom. And linen closet, and then you know these are what they call terrazzo floors. That's a polished concrete with chips in it. Completely horrible. We're going to do away with that. And there's the uh, IKEA bed, which is going to do for right now. All of this kind of bare and makeshift at the moment. And so, let's go outside and see what there is to see out there, because that's that's why uh, that's why we paid what we paid. Putting my shoes on here. Okay, so we'll go this way because the doors are open. Anyway, there's our groovy living room, with a groovy bedroom beyond, and here's the groovy porch with uh, Tracy's outdoor furniture there. That's a little shed for a lawnmower and potting stuff. That's the neighbor's uh, Hatteras clone for sale. And this is where our swimming pool is going to be, someday. And those two kayaks belong to Tracy, and the canoe was left for us by the other owner. Who also left uh, that Pompanet fighting chair, which isn't in very good shape, but it does work and it's comfy. So let's look at the really, the really groovy stuff, and we don't give a shit if we get wet. So, ah! Just got a spider web in the face. That's my neighbor's place. There's our little dock for launching our kayak, and the Simmons and the Sea Pearl will get put in here. Actually, I think I'm going to try to launch them with a single dab at that far one down there, and then if that works, we'll get rid of this one because it's smack in the middle of the view. And now I'm standing on my dock, and there is Palma Sola Bay and the neighbor's boat lift, and the neighbor's pool, and our seawall, and all that happy horse shit. And there's the neighbor's house. He's been working on it for a while. In a few years, we'll look like that too. And uh, that's mangroves over there. Uh, most people on canals around here have houses right across the canal. So they can't walk around with their sliding glass doors uh, open, naked, without uh, 
possibly having their neighbor retaliate by doing the same, which would be awful. So, um, but that little stretch over there on the other side, I'll point where I'm talking now, cannot be developed. There can be development on the other side of those mangroves, but there's like a, a buffer zone and they can't, they can't, uh, they can't put houses and seawalls, they can't harden that shoreline. Of course, to say they can't do it, it only means that they can't currently do it without paying a lot of people off and, and um, greasing the right palms. But there you have it. A six minute video of, of uh, the Florida digs.